Curves in Industrial Design Subdivision of a BS plane curve and not insertion In design, sometimes it is necessary to extract a subarc of a given curve or to add some new control points to modify a particular segment of a curve. This can be done with the Debord algorithm. The Debord algorithm allows subdividing the curve or to find segments of the curve, adding knots and control vertices without changing the degree of the curve. Here we see an example of how to subdivide a curve into two subarc. Consider a cubic BS plane with knot vector 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3. That means that the BS plane curve is defined for t between 0 and 3, the third and third to last knot, knots of the knot vector. We want to find the control polygons of the two subarcs of the curve separated by the point of the curve for t equals 1.5, that means this point. So we want to find the control polygon of the subarc from t equals 0 to t equals 1.5 and the control polygon of the subarc from t equals 1.5 to t equals 3. To do so, we apply the Debord algorithm to find this point. So the Debord algorithm gives these three red points in its first stage the two yellow points in its second stage and the point at t equals 1.5 on the curve in its third, third stage. The control polygon of the segment of the curve between t equals 0 to t equals 1.5 is given by these two control vertices from the original control polygon and these three points that are obtained as when applying the Debord algorithm. For the other segment of the curve, the control polygon for the segment of the curve from t equals 1.5 to t equals 3 is given by these three points obtained in the Debord algorithm and these two control vertices from the original control polygon of the curve. So we see a, a schematic representation of the Debord algorithm to find the point at, on the curve at t equals 1.5. We have this representation. We start with four points that come from the control polygon of the original curve and applying the Debord algorithm we get three points in the first stage, two points in the second stage, and the last point of the Debord algorithm. The subarc from t equals 0 to t equals 1.5 we have control polygon given by these two points and these three points that are obtained from the Debord algorithm. The subarc has control has not vector given by 0, 0, 0, 1, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. And can be seen that the control polygon for this subar is obtained evaluating the polar form in the corresponding entries of the not vector. For the other subar, for the subar from t equals 1.5 to t equals 3, we have control polygon given by three points obtained by the Debord algorithm and two points from the original control vertices of the control polygon of the initial curve. This control polygon has not vector given by 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 2, 3, 3, 3, and this can, it can, can, be, can be obtained by evaluating the polar form on the corresponding entries. In a similar way, we can abstract a subarc of the curve. So consider a cubic BS plane curve with not vector given by 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3. This BS plane curve is defined for t between 0 and 3. And we want to extract a curve segment between t equals 0 0.5 and 2.6. To do so, we apply the Debord algorithm for both values of t, for t equals 0 0.5 and t equals 2.6. Applying the Debord algorithm for t equals 0 0.5, we get in the first stage these three points, and for t equals 2.6 in the first stage, we get these three points. Applying the second stage of the Debord algorithm for t equals 0 0.5, we get these two points, and for t equals 2.6, we get these two points in the second stage. In the final stage of the Debord algorithm for t equals 0 0.5, we get the point on the curve that corresponds to the value t equals 0 0.5, and the point on the curve that corresponds for the value t equals 2.6 for the Debord algorithm in the case for t equals 2.6. So what we want to find is the control polygon of this curve segment. 
that we see is given by points that we found in the corresponding Devore algorithms. The not vector corresponding to this control polygon is the not vector given by 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 2, 2.6, 2.6, Finally, we want to insert a knot in the knot vector of the QBB spline. Consider a QBB spline with knot vector 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3. That means the B spline curve is defined for t between 0 and 3. This is the control polygon corresponding to that knot vector, where the first control vertex is the polar form evaluated as 0, 0, 0, the first three entries of the knot vector. The second control vertex is the polar form evaluated at 0, 0, 1, the next three entries of the knot vector. The third control vertex of the control polygon is the polar form evaluated at 0, 1, 2, the next three entries of the knot vector, and so on. To this knot vector, we are going to add a knot, 0 0.5. Because 0 0.5 lies between 0 and 1, the knot will be located between 0 and 1. So this is going to be our new knot vector. To this new knot vector will correspond a different control polygon. This control polygon can be found by using the Devore algorithm. In fact, only the first points given in the first stage of the Devore algorithm. So these are the points in the Devore algorithm. And the new control polygon is given by these points. So the first control vertex is the polar form evaluated as 0, 0, 0, the first three entries of the new knot vector. The second control vertex is the polar form evaluated as 0, 0, 0 0.5, the next three entries of the knot vector. The third control vertex of the control polygon is the polar form evaluated as 0, 0 0.5, 1, the next three entries of the knot vector, and so on. Observe that this new control polygon has one more vertex at the old control polygon. This new control polygon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven control vertices, whereas the old one had one, two, three, four, five, six. So when adding a knot in the knot vector, we are also adding a control vertex in the control polygon. Not only we add a vertex, but also the vertices change. So this vertex will disappear in the new control polygon and will be changed by this vertex. This vertex disappears in the new control polygon and will be changed by this vertex. And this is the new added vertex.